All right, welcome everyone to CGL here as we get started with the stage one playoffs here for the EU Grand Master Tier. My name is Dextron. I am joined by Geo here. Geo, man, how are you doing tonight? Oh, I am doing good because I'm very excited to dig into today's matchup as it will be delving into the playoffs now, the final hurdle, right, mm -hmm. of this season 11 journey that these teams have been on and we're going to have a little look at the bracket here not a very big bracket but it does show the journey that these teams will need to be on mm -hmm. as um it'll be Nefer gaming up against emc valhalla to take on fear further down the line yeah if you're able to beat Vale esports in their matchup uh three to one like you said, winner of this one does meet them in that next round. But while we're talking about these teams, let's introduce uh, Meta Gaming here first, I believe. So the starting lineup for Meta is Danny Fan 0510, Kill a, Kill Perfect a Pot Rockle, Sal, <laughs> Sasa, <laughs> and Legacy. Yes, uh, Meta is an all Spanish team. So they are representing Spain. In fact, a few of them are literally trying to represent Spain in the Overwatch World Cup. They're trying out for it. So we've got some heavy hitters here from the Iberian Peninsula. And uh, we, were, we were joking about how we were going to say um, Pop Rockwell's name wrong <laughs> when we yep. came to it. So um, bear with us, bear with us. But on the other side of things, we do have the roster of EMC Valhalla. It is spooky. It is KGF there. That is your DPS lineup. You've got Dirty there on the tank line with G2D and Asta for the support lineup. And um, if the icons are anything to go off for both of these teams, it does look like it might just be Brawl versus Poke. Hey, I mean... <laughs> I mean, sometimes logos do not do not show everything here, but True. we do know our first map that we will be going into in this series. It is the map you're currently seeing of Li Zhang Tower. Uh, loser will pick the next map as it is always. But you know, Li Zhang Tower Geo is a map that I always see a lot in a lot of tournaments. It's a map that I feel like everyone kind of sees as a war up map because there's so many different play styles you can play on this map. Yeah, it's a great map to get a feeling of what your opponent's going to come at you with because each map kind of allows a team to have a selection of choices of compositions that usually work for it. Uh, of course, you've got like the big outside gardens all the way to the inside control center, and it really just starts to show what kind of compositions these teams prefer, and it really sets the pace, basically, for what the battle will look like for the rest of the series, and that's why I really enjoy Li Zhang. Yeah, I really enjoy Li Zhang too, mostly because it plays into a character i really like to play on two of the three maps or two or three points at least but you know you talked about you know what we expect to see each by each point here uh let's say we see gardens first do you expect that we're going to see uh you know teams come out with a a little bit of a brawl setup or a team that just teams are going to try to just get to that point as fast as they can to try to bunker down on that point um on gardens I, I i actually want to predict we're going to see a lot of wrecking ball come out wrecking ball is a very um tuned character at the moment just got a buff for basically the survivability all um, effectiveness and output of the pile drive which basically just increases the actions per minute and that is the most important part about playing ball just constantly being in a rotation looking to get those mines up as fast as you can so i think in those big open maps like gardens it will be the tanks kind of preferring to go for kind of divey tanks but mostly on the wrecking ball that is my prediction there um and that does open things up for farah and for echo and to go into the sky there and utilize that new mercy tech of the <laughs> amplified healing on half targets which makes it a lot harder to poke and prod a far out of the sky you need to go for burst yeah, Ball is one of the biggest uh, characters here that got a big buff, and at least from what I've heard from a lot of my friends. Uh, but at the same time, Junker Queen has been a player I, or a character I've been playing a lot. I've been seeing a lot when I am playing. Do you expect that we could see a Junker Queen come out at any point in this first map? 
Yeah, uh, actually, Junker Queen is actually a tank that a lot of people are finding can counteract Ball. Obviously, if you're going to be landing those Gracies, you can interrupt the movement of Ball and kind of bring them towards you. And that's what you want to be doing to counteract the Ball. You want to be using those crowd control abilities. So if a team doesn't like to play the Ball, it could be that you see lots of Junker Queen to counteract it. And overall, just a very brawly way of playing. Uh, it's basically... You know, the rock, paper, scissors of Overwatch, right? And mm -hmm. it'll be interesting to see what these teams, you know, lean into. Um, what are you, what, what are you, what's your personal feeling here as we lead into Night Market? Oh. Uh, Night Market, I mean, just personal feeling about this one. You can kind of already see what people are looking at here right away. Uh, Meta or Meta apparently uh, is coming out here with that ball. Uh, Valhalla, on the other hand, coming out with a Diva. I mean, I can understand each pick here. You you have talked about that ball is way more in the meta right now, or, or, or it's really strong right now. So it seems like Meta here is going to be trying to get to that point as fast as they can, especially since they're coming out with a, a Symmetra as well. Yeah, and with the Far Mercy on the side of Meta and only really a Cassidy to deal with it, that far is going to be really difficult to take out which really means that they can take these off angles and start to really poke and prod and create weaknesses in the defense yeah but right now we're already seeing one support down for valhalla however the tank out for meta here at the moment so they're gonna to have to use the rest to get them back into this one to try to keep this fight alive you know still only one support at the moment for valhalla this should be the go button for uh, meta here but however meta loses one of their uh, supports as well spooky though a little bit too far out gets taken out Yerdy is able to take out Pot there, and a first point here, able to go over to Valhalla, but just a couple, just a lot of kill trading here at the moment. You're seeing Dirty here go after that pharmacy combo of Sasa and Danny Fan in the sky. However, GGD able to take kill, kill perfected there, and it kind of stables out here on the point for a little bit. Yeah, the point uh, control here can really be easily taken by Valhalla because their archers just offer that point presence. Yeah, but already right back into it. We see KG able to find Pot out. Spooky finds Danny Fan. Danny Fan able to get res though, but it does actually, actually, no, Sasa able to stay alive for that. Legacy was actually falling in that one, but you already see them kind of flying back towards their spawn. So it looks like Meta here gonna be rethinking and making some swaps here as we already see Pot go from the ball to the Zarya. Yeah, yeah, the ball wasn't finding too much because it's very enclosed and with that Symmetra, the turrets just slow you down and you don't have enough time to really deal with it. Now with the Zarya pushing in, you're going for a much, uh, much more brawly scenario here as Deep comes into the back one. And immediately right away, Valhalla wants to bring the fight to him. Here comes the Mirage from Danny Fan. Doesn't find anyone, but Kill Perfected does find one. Bomb from Dirty Fine South, with so no Mercy available for... Uh, meta in this fight, so no res as well. That might just kind of be a fight ender here for them, but Meta gonna try to keep this one up a little bit. You see Pot here trying to find anyone, but it's KG who finds Kill Perfecta right there to kind of put the numbers advantage in an even bigger advantage for Valhalla here, and it does force some of Meta's players off the point here for a little bit to try to regroup. Yeah, KG's teleports are very intelligent, creating lots of really annoying off angles and flank rotations from the side of Valhalla as they utilize the gear of the high noon able to find one there time almost running out here for meta here comes the kasuni rush from valhalla however everything's kind of going meta's way here at the moment until i said that and then now everything's flopped over to valhalla two kills during the right pulse bomb coming out from kill perfect and not able to find anyone there now it's in overtime just a, trying to stall out here a little bit trying to get more members on point kill perfect though falling not what you want to see now it's up to the the valkyrie salsa there to try to keep it up but they don't live much longer so does legacy they're out of the picture as well and the first point will go over to valhalla yeah valhalla were very good at controlling that point really hunkering down there utilizing the symmetra turrets to disrupt the ball anytime the wrecking ball tried to get in there and you could see that port, uh, port rocco really you know struggled had to switch up and they kind of like i had a half and half comp of kind of half brawl and still had the fire mercy so i think they got kind of caught up in that changing of the guard but now as we move into a different map of control center this is a different pace this this will change things up it's a more brawly map much more enclosed areas and you see it's port rocklow preferring the reinhardt up against the orissa the orissa still has a lot of crowd control but with that enhanced fire strike ranking it a lot done 
Yeah, and you already see right off the start, KG swaps off the Symmetra going to the Junkrat instead, while Dandy fans get to stay on it. Kill Perfecto incredibly low here, and actually, they're able to take out Spooky there with their grenade, giving them a little bit of advantage and something they desperately needed after the first point was a little bit of a struggle for them, but as long as Dirty is up here for Valhalla, I still feel like they can get back in this one as you start to see meta start to take control of the point here, start to cap it. I believe we're going to see Valhalla just let them cap it as the fight still kind of continues here on the stairs to this little upper room from the point, but they look like they'll kind of fall back now just to regroup here only for a quick moment before the next fight starts. Yeah, but an opportunity has presented itself with Port Roklo going low. They're going to enter here with the window, but the wall comes up to disrupt it. Yeah, and Danny Fan finds one, two. Pot finds a third. Spooky able to find one, but Danny Fan picks up a third in this fight. They're trying to get a team kill here. Make it a team kill for them right there. This is a great start for Control Center for Meta Gaming as they really did struggle on uh, Night Gardens. Or, no, the first point. Yeah, night market. Yeah, yeah. It was. It was a different. It's a different pace here, and they're playing really aggressive with this brawl, which is what you want to see. However, KGF has this reptile. How sneaky are they going to be with it? They're currently playing on the front line, but how to utilize this tire and create space with it? It's going to be the key factor going forward. Shatter comes out, here comes the tire, they're able to find Danny Fan, who has been a big problem for them right now, and now they're starting to collapse in on that one kill. The beat, though, that does come out from Legacy. High Noon being co coming out from Kill Perfecta as well, does not find anyone that pretty much gets in there by Dirty, but Kill Perfecta able to come back and get Dirty over two straight kills, going the way of Valhalla here. They're trying to flip it right now. There are two members left for metagaming on point, trying to do their best, but we're seeing them each getting taken out. We do see Danny Fan throw turrets on point, however, Valhalla not yet retaking the point, and we're able to get, we're gonna be able to see Meta get back in here to try to contest this point a little bit longer. A little bit of a mistake coming out there from Valhalla here early in this series, and now the lead only extends for Meta Gaming. Yeah, this percentage getting ticked up is gonna send them onto that final fight, only now getting control. Very good uh, situation here for Meta Gaming as they're still on the approach here. They just need to watch out for this window. They are coming up to this wall yet again. They can splice up this uh, point here, just create lots of space for them on the entry. Dirty does have this Terra Surge ready to go. They're looking for the right opportunity. You see, you see him get very aggressive here. Normally, this is where I would kind of expect a Orisa to pop that Terra Surge, but they're going to fall back here. Kind of try to retake control of this high ground. TP comes out from Danny Fan, but it's a little bit of a bait as the window comes out from Salsa. And look at this meta gaming is just basically trapped EMC in this up in this high ground. The Terra Surge comes out, and just before the point flips, we start to see him. Uh, contested High Noon now coming out from Spooky, not able to find anyone, but does provide some damage as Dirty picks up one kill, picks up a second one, gets charged off the point. Your point still not flipped over yet, and Dirty and Spooky take care of those last two members of Meta Gaming there to get a team kill and to just extend their percentage. I would not blame you if you thought it was Halloween. It's getting spooky up in here, constantly finding those nice picks there with the Cassidy, getting those players who are just slightly out of position and punishing them. But in this final approach, Spooky again opening up. A great start for them. And look, immediately causing Meta to fall back here. They do have some time to play with, and they do not want to be down a member and even stagger, stagger this round out any more than they have to here. KG does have their ultimate ready to go. G2D is the closest, the next oh. closest one on their team. Meta go, it's gonna come in this next fight with a lot of ultimates ready to go. <gasps> That's a huge elimination at the get-go coming in now with the Shatter ready. High Noon coming out from Kill Perfecta here. They're trying to speed boost them around the corner. Kill Perfecta finds two kills. Ooh. That's the go button for them. 93% and counting on the board for EMC Valhalla. But the point has finally flipped back over. Kill Perfecta able to find Spooky. Spooky finds Kill Perfecta right back. Pot able to find G2D. But the percentage now ticking up and meta now in the lead. We're going to see him be very defensive of this point. KG will be able, though, to contest this point for Valhalla. Yeah, B comes out on the other side of things to sustain the team on the entry. Big Blossom takes down one, but the Shatter is still there for Poroklo. And look at the Shatter, it finds two. Danny Fan able to take care of them. Pot trying to charge up there, get this last one. A spooky, and they're able to to end the second point in their favor to force a point three on Li Zhang Tower. Yeah, that was a barn burner of a map there. That point was really 
all down to who had the better brawl and you could see the differences that the teams preferred one on the side of Valhalla preferring to go for the Arisa route with that Reaper lots of very upfront damage where Meph is going for a more classic Reinhardt and you know it's kind of you know pools and roundabouts basically because you get free shatters you get lots of shatters because of that new fire strike buff but also the arrest can really deal with you and moving into gardens as i predicted there we are going to see some more ball again mefa bringing out that same composition that we saw on night market however valhalla back onto this diva base composition that we saw them win on night market 100 to 0 so i think mefa game we need to find a new way of playing this to get value yeah and you already see pocket there get really low on the ball we'll have to roll away to kind of regroup get some health back and we're seeing valhalla do it exactly what they did on night market just kind of re kind of take position there on the point re really force matter to come at them if they want to get it as they already take the first point here uh kill perfect the first one to fall in this fight spooky looking after the lucio there of legacy not able to get them but right now you know valhalla just doing the exact same thing we saw them do on the first point just kind of hold this Point, position on point and meta just has to try to find at least one pick to get everything started here yeah they're swinging in trying to get good pile drives and follow up with the rocket they do find one but it's traded out they are just struggling to get into this point here yeah but look at that dandy fan able to find kg pot able to find spooky this is what they've been looking for here and now they just need to get rid of this lucio and this diva on point but diva able or dirty able to find pot there the beat coming out from g2d's gonna keep dirty and asta alive here and support asta though able to find sasa the bomb now coming out from uh dirty able to find one g2d able to boop off the dueling lucio legacy and find kill perfecto right after it absolutely massive plays here by 2d on the lucio that beat was very intelligent to keep the fight going they knew it was winnable and then also getting those picks at the end did i just what uh, did i just do did i just cast or curse them off the map uh <laughs> i i, I won't I'm go speechless. that far <laughs> hey, Pot pops his minefield there on point, able to find Spooky, Kill Perfect to finds KG as well, but KG able to find Danny Fan right before that, and we do see Danny Fan get rezzed here for metagaming, and they desperately need it. Here comes the Kasuna Rush from Astro, who's in a little bit of a peculiar situation themselves right now. Danny Fan, though, does pop the Barrage, able to find G2D. They're trying to get Dirty out of that mech. They're able to and take care of Dirty themselves, and the point finally flips over into their favor for the first time this map. Only 80% going over to Valhalla, though. Yeah, like a shark in water, they tasted the blood. 2D had taken themselves out and the opportunity had arisen. But now there's blood in the water for Valhalla as there's no Farah yet. Oh, the res does come in just in time, however. And Pot able to pick up Spooky. That's great for meta here as they want to try to hold onto this point and try to do the same thing that Valhalla did or just hold the position on the point right now. You see them really playing around this main pillar here on point. And, you know, this is a, a smart thing for them to do. You do also see Danny Fan kind of flying around, trying to get an angle here on the Valhalla. But the EMP comes out from Valhalla. It does find five members of them, I believe. But Pot able to find G2D. So that EMP not necessarily going uh, Valhalla's way here to start. Yeah, unfortunately for them, it just hasn't. Spooky tries to equalize by taking Danny Fan out, but it's immediately almost res, but the hack comes out. And yeah, yet again, Mepha Gaming really keeping control here. They've started to really get good value with this composition. As soon as you knock Valhalla off the point and they can't get back on, uh, you get more value from this composition, from creating these different angles and just disrupting them. And with the mines ready from Port Roklo, there's going to be plenty more disruption to come. And with 70% on the board for them, it's looking pretty good for Mepha Gaming right now. Yeah, and look at Meta Gaming right now. Three ultimates, almost four ready to go. Valhalla only has one ready to go at the moment. Here comes the minefields and the high noon from Kill Perfecta. They're desperately trying to get in with the boop. Able to find Ooh. two from that. What a great team play coming out there from Meta. Something they desperately need. And that play right there might just win them this map absolutely 90 percent to go it's panic mode now for valhalla to get back on point they do have the bomb they're coming up to emp it's winnable if they can touch but i don't think they can oh they can just with kgf 
Here comes the barrage though from Danny Fan trying to find anyone they're able to find Dirty, but here comes the bomb from Dirty. It has to be huge. It's not, but this Casinoros comes out from Astro trying to do whatever they can, but the kills all go in the way of Meta here. Make it three. They're just trying to pick up these last two. EMP does come out from KG there. Finds four. However, they find themselves in the forever box. Same with Asta. And the first map will go to Meta Gaming. Yeah, very nice from Meta Gaming there uh, to really turn that around. They were struggling a lot finding an entry onto point, but once they took Valhalla off of the point, they started to get it back into their control, back into their pace of play. So very nice um, adaption there from Meta Gaming, not in their um, not in their um, composition, but in their way of playing their play style. They played it, you know, much more. Um, in more unison, like you saw with the boops into the high noon, it was like they finally started playing as an orchestra instead of a ragtag of solo artists. <laughs> yeah, and honestly, we saw metagaming really improve point by point there throughout this map. The first point, they were 100 owed. The second map was really close, and this third map, yeah, still, re or third point, still really close, but you saw them improve little by little as the series went on and it really seemed like they kind of found found themselves there on that third point yeah absolutely and we we saw some adaptation there from the side of valhalla when it started to not go their way with the sombra pick coming out but unfortunately they didn't quite find the emp <laughs> very mobile comp on the side of Mepha, so it's hard to really clamp them down. And with EMP, the actual hack portion of EMP not lasting as long anymore, you know, it, it, there's a very small window to really um, capitalize on mm -hmm. those, um, you know, movement heavy characters being immobilized. So uh, with Mepha being able to hold in during that EMP, uh, that was um, that was basically the, the end card there because. The EMP is such a massive ultimate. If you don't get the value with it, then you know you're going to start to struggle a lot for sure. Yeah, and like you're talking about the EMPs, they had a four-man EMP there, but just the positioning from Meta Gaming really kind of prevented them from capitalizing off that at all. You saw an EMP there late in that game, but that was just mostly more of a desperation EMP to have something potentially try to go their way. And just in the end, there was too few numbers there for Valhalla for uh, them to do anything there against Meta on that first map. Yes, and next up is Hybrid, and it has been chosen. We are going to the streets of London, folks, as it is King's Row. From Scrim Giant Tower to Scrim's Row, the classics are coming out, but you love to see them. They're a classic for a reason. Now, obviously, King's Row, it leans more into Brawl. That's classically how it has kind of leaned in terms of how teams play into it, especially in the EU region, for sure. So I am expecting at least the side of Mepha to come in on the Reinhardt. We saw it on Control Center, whereas I think Valhalla, they'll lean towards the Orissa. That seems <clears> to be their strong suit, and they did get a lot of value from it, as it was a very close match on Control Center. So I think it will be the Orissa comp up against the, the Reinhardt compositions again. But uh, what do you think of these head scans right now? Because... I, I, it starts to it's it kind of feels like spooky is the one that's really getting lots of the limelight right now i mean yeah spooky was making a lot of kills there in that first map and we were talking about them a lot however you know the um, i can't remember the Farah's name for valhalla but it, when they were playing Farah, it always seemed like they were uh, just a nuisance or a pest to uh anything that uh we saw meta or no, the other way around. The the VAR for meta was really being a pest and a nuisance to Valhalla, and it seemed like they were struggling to try to, you know, find them out there, even with having direct counters to Farah. Yeah, yeah, I kind of mentioned it briefly at the start of the broadcast, but now if that fifty, uh, if you're under fifty percent health, Mercy gets a lot more healing on you, and what that means is you really need to go for burst hit scan burst damage on each farah that's pocketed otherwise mercy is just going to outheal you so going mm. soldier uh, etc it's just not going to work out so even with a cassidy you know with that kind of range buff to help out it, it still struggles to really take down farah at long range so you're right uh, Mepha Gaming were getting 
a way of a lot there with the Pharaoh. However, my production, my prediction has come true. The arc sticking of the Reinhardt. Now with the May, I like this. It splits up the map. It makes them control the scenario. And if they can cut off uh, Love Fortnite, who's now come on for the tank line, then they can get a lot of value in these brawl fights. Uh, speaking of fights, right away we see Pot just charge into past the choke point. They're trying just to get anything going here. And now they're already, you know, past the choke point. Probably the hardest thing to get through on this first point here. And now they're already looking to try to get something going their way. Pot, though, really low on health. First one taken out here. That's going to have to cause some sort of fallback here from Me or from Val. Yeah, Meta here. Kill the they're able to find one. However, numbers are still not in their favor here. Yeah, well, the May can split up the map and control the pace. Once that wall is down, there's just more front damage there with the Reaper, and that's what you saw KGF get away with a lot there until they were picked off at the end. But you see Blood's in the water. They're nice and aggressive here for Mepha. And nice ice wall coming out there from Danny Fan. Look at it. Two kills already off it. Now they're trying to find a third one of Fortnite. Fortnite really low here. One person sitting on point four meta. They should get this point off of this. Danny Fan able to take care of Fortnite. And now you see two members of meta on the point. First point capped to them now. It's the push phase. Yeah, it's a decent time bank, is, time bank as well. Five minutes rolling into second. And they're being nice and aggressive. They know they can take this space. And oh. That uh, was spooky, almost getting caught out. Now with this blizzard, it's a big area control ultimate. And without a Kitsune, uh, Kiriko even, to uh, cleanse the effect, then it's going to get a lot of value. You just can't let it get eaten up by the javelin spin. I hear a high noon coming out from Spooky. I hear a blizzard coming out here from Ooh. Danny Fan. Spooky doesn't find anything with it, but Danny Fan finds one, trying to make it two, but not going to be able to find two. Here comes the terror surge from Love Fortnite, trying to get that charge all the way up. Only finds that immortality field from Sasa there, and now it's just an all-out ball for all fight here in the streets. Hot pops their shatter, finds one, two, make it a third. KGF pops their death loss, what? make it three for them as well. Danny Fan comes right back, punching KGF to end them there for an overall team win fight there for Meta, and they continue to push this card. And my initial thought was that was a waste of Blossom, but I guess the Miracle Bag was opened and ready to be taken out of, because this does allow a nice, good, quick contest from the defense, uh, as the, the team of Mephagame are only just getting back, and they didn't get time to control the match. Here comes damage matrices from both sides right now, but everything going the way of Meta here. Three kills right now. Kill Perfecta in a good spot. They're looking for the team kill. Only have to get rid of G2D, and that's the first team kill here on King's Row. And it goes to Meta, and this should also probably get them the second point as well. Yeah, notice the speed at which Mepha Gaming is playing at. They're outpacing the Orisa, and that's what you really need to do. Just walk into the Orisa and force them to deal with you. Now look at this. It's quite sneaky. Mepha are into these sneaky ultimates. They're going to go for a sneak high noon, something that hasn't really gotten value since the early days of Overwatch 1. Let's see what Kel Perfect is able to do here. But we already, I believe I saw Danny Fan fall early in this fight. Here comes the high noon. They're looking for it to be big. They have some in their sight. Only Ooh. able to find one, though. That Orisa of Love Fortnite able to save some of their teammates there. Only for a moment, a spooky falls right after it. But you already see Meta Gaming here continuing to push the cart right now. They're going after G2D. Pot finds them. Now they're going after one more. They find KGF. They find <laughs> Love Fortnite. And they're going to continue to push this cart with ease. Yeah, it looks like Mepha Gaming's favorite D&D class is Rogue because they're sneaking in the shadows with these ultimates. Now with the final fight coming up and Blizzard and Shatter ready, this is going to be tough. The beat of 2D needs to come up big to sustain and save the team from these big ultimates. Huge Shatter finds two. They're able to get rid of Fortnite. Beat comes out from G2D. Not able to hit Love Fortnite. And now Sasa finds two here. Here comes the Blizzard from Meta. And will we see anyone come back to even contest from Valhalla? Oh. No. Three minutes and 50 seconds in the time bank. Meta put on a clinic here on their offensive round of King's Row. Yeah, Meta are putting on an absolute textbook display of brawl they are pushing through with fury they're hungry and they are warmed warmed up by the campfire because they are playing at a level that we didn't even see in lijian control center previously now 
Valhalla, it's on them to take the pace for themselves and to really push into Mepha Gaming with Fury because 3 minutes 50 is a very good time for King's Row. Not improbable for them to match it, but it's a very tough spot to be in for Valhalla. It'll really show what their stripes are made of as they go into their attack and they're currently teasing the Reinhardt. Uh, what was your feeling between the Reinhardt and the Orisa? What did you get um, the sense of between that duel? I mean, well, one thing I want to talk about, because I mentioned, I saw it right away, and I thought this would, could be something we would have seen going into this map. Was it going to be a tank swap here? Because maybe Love Fortnite is more of, of a brawly tank compared to Dirty. Right, yeah. But it just seemed like coming out on Orisa and staying on Orisa as long as they did was not necessarily the smartest choice for them. The Terra Surge that they had really never got any value from it. Yeah, they had a second one, but they were never able to use the second one because they got shattered out of it, and then the round ended for them. So now they're coming out on this Reinhardt, and it's gonna be a duel of or battle of these Rhines here, I believe. Whoever, whichever Rhine is the better Rhine in this half, is gonna probably be the one that helps their team either go into overtime or win this map. Yeah, the DPS of Valhalla also, they're very much more damage up front, but Danny Fan at a distance can get lots done. Yeah, right now you already see the charge coming in there, I believe, from Love Forna. The both immortality fields down and out for both sides right now. Love Fortnite out, Kill Perfecta finds him. They also find Fox League here. Now they're going after more G2D as well, found out by Kill Perfecta. Kill Perfecta, oh. four of the five kills there to their name. Yeah, that bloodthirsty nature of Mepha Gaming is not just for attack, it's for defense as well, because you saw them push them all the way to spawn. Uh oh, what, what's Pot Roku doing? They're trying to sneak. Oh, they've been caught out. Yeah, Reinhardt's a little bit too big of a body not to notice sitting in a corner there. Shatter though comes out. It Shoot. finds, I believe, 3 4. Look at that 3 already down. The Reinhardt's there stunned themselves and kill perfect to make sure to get rid of Love Fortnite. And now KGF trying to run away and keep themselves alive. Yeah, absolutely outstanding display there. Counteracted that window completely. Valhalla, they've now swapped on to the Ana. Uh, they will be able to get good anti-nades if they're not careful in Mepha Gaming. And there's no Kuriko to cleanse it, so I think that's why they went here to get good. Oh, and the sleep as well. Spooky able to find Danny Fan. This is a good start here for Valhalla. Immortality goes down and out. High noon though from Kill Perfecta. Able to find G2D. So no beat this fight at all. They didn't have it ready to go anyway. Love Fortnite out as well. So that shatter that they used, they're not going to find any value from it. And you already see Valhalla trying to run away with their life. Though Pot continues to swing and they're able to find Spooky. Yeah, two minutes left on the board and still Valhalla struggling to find their way. They've invested ultimates and just haven't found anything because Mepha Gaming are so quick to adapt. Now with Danny Fan of this overclock, it's a very strong ultimate in this situation with that high ground control. No one can contest them. Shatter finds two out. Pot able to find Fox and find Fortnite. They're spooky. Able to find Sasa, but everything else goes the way of Metha Gaming for another team kill. And no overclock required if you've got the shatter skills of Pot Rocco because they have come up massive time and time again. Valhalla, they're slowly making their way to this nano, but I don't know if they'll need it in this next fight. The Blossom is going to have to come up big here, opening up to High Noon, however. High Noon coming from Spooky, though, does not find anyone. Instead, we see Love Forna get charged away oh. from the point. Kill Perfecta able to take them out. The now the beat coming out and the overclock coming out from the air. If had one kill going their way. Pot and Kill Perfecta find two more and find the last one there of G2D for yet another team kill. And now less than 60 seconds for Valhalla to get anything going here. Another strong defense here. Now sub one minute, one fight pretty much remaining. But an opportunity has arisen. No ultimates on the side of Method Gaming as of yet. Valhalla can be nice and fast, utilize this nano and get a good blossom off. Here comes the TP, but the shatter! Huge shatter finds four, making yet another team kill here for Metha! Oh my lord, somebody check out Pot Roklo. They have the rain hacks here. They're coming up massive time and time again. But and there was no chance to use the nano, no chance to use the beat. Now, 10 seconds on the board, it's do or die. 
Well, Fortnite, though, able to find kill Perfecta. They get the charge there. Look at this. Two kills going the way. Make it three, four kills going the way of Valhalla. And a team kill for Valhalla to keep themselves alive here on this map. Absolutely what they needed to do. They already got a good nano, a nice beaten gate, allowing them to go nice and deep and get their teeth cinched in. Now, they're not going to have as much time as Method Gaming, but they do have a chance to keep themselves in it as they roll on to second point and playing very far forward here to control the map and keep this momentum that they've newly found. Um, oh, uh oh, what's this? Oh. Trying to be sneaky, gets a shot off, throws that grenade, and then looks like to just regroup with their team here right now. But Valhalla trying to continue keep this fight up. They do have a shatter ready to go, and this should be huge for them if they're able to have it connect for them. However, we do see Method playing around this corner right now. That shatter could come out at any moment. I thought we were going to see it there from Fortnite, but they're still holding on to High Noon now coming out from Spooky. Not able to find anyone. does force them back, though. Yeah, the chess game between these Reinhardts to get these shatters off. Love Fortnite really wants to come up big here with it, but even finding two with it will be enough value. You do want to find a Lusko, however, as the beat from Legacy is prepared and ready to sustain the team here as this fight continues in a very long, prolonged stage. Nano coming out here onto Love Fortnite. That shatter has to be coming out. I would assume they're trying to get rid of one on that high ground, but it's Danny Fan popping the overclock, able to find one. They're looking for more. The shatter finally comes out, but Kill Perfecta finds KGF as well. Pot finds Love Fortnite, and everything going wrong here for, Val for Valhalla here. We're trying to see the last member put up a fight against Danny Fan here, but Fox Liga not able to do enough. Yeah, Danny Fan completely controlling there with the overclock. But now on the other side, KGF from the Sojourn will have it for this likely final fight coming up here if they are slow about it. So KGF really needs to come up big with this overclock. It's pretty much all eyes on KGF right now because they're the only... Oh! An another shatter from Pot finds a couple, but KGF finds one! With their overclock, make it two. Shoot. With their overclock, they have three kills already in this fight. They're looking for four. They're finding it with some help from G2D there. And that might yet again keep Valhalla alive here on King's Row. This is absolutely what you want to see in your players in the playoffs. When they know they need to come up big, they do. That's what KGF did. It's in their blood. They're a purebred gamer. And they will <laughs> allow their team to push forward 90 seconds on first point. But you do need to finish with time in the bank. If you finish in overtime, your only best option is a draw. So it's still do or die here as we're approaching that one minute on the board here for final point of King's Rule. Nano coming out here onto Love Fortnite. They're just gonna swing away, trying to find anyone. Pot really low, has to charge away to stay alive. Now Love Fortnite being very aggressive on it. High Noon coming out come from Kill Perfect to the beat, coming out from G2D. High Noon not yet, or was Pop, did not find anyone from Kill Perfect. And Valhalla doing a great job here, just pushing up this car as far as they possibly can. Now the High Noon from Spooky, they're sitting inside the disrupting shot, not able to find anyone with it just yet. They're still looking for one. They're able to fight two with it, actually. Ooh. And that's going to keep them alive. KGF finds Sasa here. And look at this. Valhalla completely keeping themselves alive with this one. Will force overtime with time. The souls in Valhalla would be proud at the fight that was shown here right now by EMC Valhalla and keeping themselves in it. They were on the edge of the void of going 2-0 down in this series without finishing King's Row, but you saw them dig deep and find it within themselves to push forward. But that journey is not over. They have one minute up against Mepha Gaming's four minute 17 time bank. This is not an easy situation for Valhalla to be in, but if they can find the momentum that they had at the end there, find that grit, that fight that they accessed at the end, then they can come up big. They can go against the odds here, and it's four times the bank for Mepha Gaming. But Valhalla, they'll be attacking first. They get to set the pace. And it looks like they are going to still open up here with the Ana and with the Sojourn. And I think that's a good call because that worked out a lot better than the Reaper and the Baptiste. 
Yeah, and you still, uh, as you say that, they're kind of still flopping around their supports right now, but Valhalla here, they struggled a lot on this first point uh, in their initial attack. Went all the way to overtime before they finally got something going here. They only have a minute. They really only ha can lose about one team fight here before it's in that last fight scenario for them to get anything on this first point. Yes. We have one minute to go. Not enough time. Big charge! The immortality field, though, gonna keep Pot alive in this one. Huge play from them. Spooky able to find Sasa. As Sasa was a little bit behind the rest of their team. And look at this already. One tick going the way of Valhalla here. Danny Fan, though, able to find G2D. That might force Valhalla here to try to play this point cap a little defensive right now. But it doesn't seem like Meta is gonna try to contest this one. I thought Legacy was gonna go charging in there, but they smartly decided not to. 17 seconds and counting for Valhalla here. Meta has not lost anyone yet, and they're at RPG here. A very, very good choke point. Yeah, but this is already a good scenario for Valhalla, but they do have this nano coming online. This might just shock Meta Gaming. They have nothing for it, and here it comes. They're looking for it. And it goes right to love Fortnite, love Fortnite. Look at how much pressure that's put on Meta Gaming. Look how much it's forced them back. This is great coming out for them, but Kill Perfecta finds Spooky. Spooky, though, finds Kill Perfecta right back. We've seen that a couple times. Danny Fan, though, finds Love Fortnite, and the Shatter comes out from Pot. It gets two. They find two. Only the Ana left alive, and Ana against five members of Meta Gaming. Not a good, not a good fight result there for them. And Meta Gaming, you know, only allowed Valhalla to get almost 48 meters on that cart push. Valhalla, though, has the tougher battle to fight here. Yes, but you have to look at the positives here for Valhalla. They did outstanding they there, outstandingly with that time. They got not only the first point, but they got it through the choke. Those are two very important areas to complete if you have a very short amount of time. Now, yes, four minutes on the bank for Method Gaming. It is an extremely achievable goal, especially considering how quick they took that first point in their initial attack. However, Valhalla have kind of found the spice that's working for them with this Ana pick, with these anti-nades, uh, with these sleeps. They're getting lots of value with denying the healing of the side of Method Gaming. Method Gaming really haven't adapted to that yet. And that has allowed uh, Fox Lika to really excel here on the support lineup and really open up so many opportunities for Valhalla. So yeah, it's a tough hold to do, but if anything, you've set yourself up as good as you can with the time that you have, and it's it's time to hold in. It's time to really get your defenses up. The walls need to be up. It is time for the final fight. Kill Perfecto here on the Widowmaker, trying to maybe find a, a pick that leads them to an early win here. However, they're immediately gonna swap off after seeing Valhalla here was playing it very smartly, hiding behind that hotel. And now, you know, Valhalla just need to take this one fight at a time, but they don't wanna make the first mistake here. Yeah, time is crucial here and they have a big wall. Oh, but they're able to keep Love Fortnite alive. However, as I say that, Legacy able to take him out here. Me Valhalla needs to find some kills here. KF, KGF able to find Kill Perfecta. However, now they're in a little bit of a tough position themselves. G2D out of this one as well. And we might see Meta here cap this first point. KGF trying to get out of there with their legs. Able to. And now Valhalla, three and a half minutes to hold this point here. They cannot lose Arches. Mepha are looking just so strong right now. Three minutes on the board to just get it through this one choke. They're in a very good position. But coming up to the window of Sasa very early, and that might shock Valhalla. They may not be prepared for that ult so early, especially on this narrow choke. Yeah, but right now they're going to try to play around this corner here, try to just poke out as much damage as they possibly can. But here comes the damage measure, because Danny Pen and Pot oh. are able to find two. This might be the beginning of the end here on King's Row. Spooky out, making three members of Valhalla gone. Love Fortnite out as well. It's just up to the Lucio, who's just trying to jump around for their life. However, they do not get to live much longer. The Blizzard comes out from Danny Fan as much more of a celebratory Blizzard. And Meta Gaming will go up 2-0 in this series. Yes, Mepha Gaming are looking very strong in this series. That brawl on King's Row was absolutely textbook material. And yeah, it's 2-0 in the series. That's match point right now.
They only need to win one more. It's a reverse sweep if Valhalla want to take it here in the playoffs match. So that's going to be a very, very tough situation to be in. But we saw the heart. We saw the fine Valhalla. It's not something that's impossible. I, I genuinely think that if any team is going to reverse sweep, it would be Valhalla. And we already saw a little bit of a glimpse of it. Hell, their backs were against the wall there in their push phase of or their attacking phase of this map. First point went to overtime. Second point, it was a very, very hard second point for them, but they got it. And then they never looked back on that third point, never losing a fight. And now their backs are truly up against the wall for the rest of the series. So, you know, we might be seeing those desperation plays coming out from some of these players here to try to get them to at least win one map to prolong the series. Yes, absolutely. Well, there will be some time to mull things over, maybe strategize, as there's going to be a small brief break of five minutes. But do not go anywhere, folks, as the culmination of this playoffs match will continue after this short break. All right, welcome back, everyone. We're two maps into this series right now, but we already have one of our teams sitting on series point right now meta gaming it's is that team but it has been a really back and forth series so far would you agree with that statement gio i would yeah you know you might I, I wouldn't blame you if you thought that this was meta gaming's series if you watch king's row but you really if you look between the lines even in the king's row match it was very back and forth valhalla were able to complete the map and get a decent push with that one minute so it's it's absolutely a fight that's up in the air especially as we land over to junkertown now on the escort pick and we've been kind of going back and forth on what this might mean and uh, i've been talking about how the ball might come back out for mefa uh, but you know they have swapped up the tank roll in delhi so perhaps it's not the ball that's coming out because it was um Port Roklo that was playing the ball right originally so I'm curious to see what they do um obviously this is the map pick of Valhalla what are you feeling Valhalla might pick here I mean I won't be surprised if we see Dirty come back in on tank for Valhalla uh I, I just have the feeling that Dirty might be a little bit of a better tank for this kind of style of map but maybe they stick with love Fortnite I mean half of hybrid is push uh so or an escort map which we have here on junker town but you know this is their map pick they have to feel confident with it and but however we just saw on king's row that was their map pick but it seemed like for the, at least their defensive half of it they really seen the struggle yeah for sure and it, it did kind of surprise me when we did see them go to the king's row because the brawl of um, Mepha was kind of the strong suit on Li Zhang on control center. Yeah, it was a little back and forth, but you know, we just kind of saw that there was a different pace of play really with Port Roklo on the Reinhardt, an absolute beast crusader <laughs> and just kind of steamrolled through. So I do like this pivot to Junkertown actually. The more I think about it, the more I like this pick because you can't play Rhine here. This is not a Rhine map at all. But you could try and close hold, but that's about all you're going to get from the Reinhardt. So you're forcing them off of the brawl and maybe going back to those situations, possibly even bringing the Diva back out where mm -hmm. you've got value against that Wrecking Ball style of play. Yeah, but you know, Valhalla here, again, second map pick in a row for them. Backs are against the wall. I, I imagine either we're going to see some very safe comps coming out from them here on Junkertown, or we're going to see something that is absolutely crazy for them, because they desperately need this map here to go their way if they want to prolong this series, even one more map. Absolutely. This is where you start overturning all the pockets that you have. The front pockets, the back pockets, all the wacky stuff can come out in a situation like this. The, the, you know the expression is you know throw it uh, and see if it sticks you know see if it yeah. lands and you know that's how you experiment that's how you find new situations and with Valhalla on the attack they're currently hovering on the Sigma going for kind of poke and uh, sniping with Spooky mm. on the widow that could actually be terrifying Spooky has come up big on the hit scan a lot here in this series so now on the widowmaker uh, uh, not an easy uh, mirror to be up against kill perfecta but spooky has really been a champion of the role and meth gaming 
Delhi has come in now and picking the Sigma to go for the more spam. And you see the differences here with the Zenyatta versus the Mercy. The Mercy is going to be pocketing that soldier where the Discord gives everyone a boost. So mm -hmm. you're going to see a, a lot of spam coming out of Mepha Gaming where it's more kind of you know, poke and prod from Valhalla. Yeah, and we do see Dirty come back in for Valhalla here on the tank. Like you said, a little bit of a Sigma duel here to start, but each team kind of just playing it safe right now. No one really wanted to poke their head out too far and get taken out by Spooky, at least for Meta at the moment. But, you know, you see a couple shots coming in there from Spooky. They're going to try to go flying in the air, but instead oh, it's oh, Danny yeah. Fan flying in the air themselves, taking out Spooky with the railgun shot. I didn't even know Soldier could get that high in the sky. But, yeah, they landed the shot, got that one shot. Oh, was uh, yeah, I think it was the widow in the sky, actually, now I think about it. Um, <laughs> uh, I got a little confused there by how they died. Same. Um, producers keep me right. Um, yeah, this fan's still kind of working here with Kofecta, finding lots of leeway here on the Widowmaker. Yeah, and look Ooh. at that. Make it two for Kill Perfector. They're looking for more. They do have Dirty in their sights. Danny Fan, though, able to take care of G2D. And that's going to force a little bit of a fallback and a regroup here from Valhalla. However, Dirty, a little bit too oh. slow to fall back. It's taken out. And the stagger now coming out from Valhalla will be even longer. Yeah, when you name your account Kill Perfector, you got to be confident. And right now, you can see why. Very slick with it. These duels against Spooky are currently working out again in the favor of Mepha Gaming. They're really holding the fort down right now. And they've forced Dirty to come out now on the ball, create a lot of off-angle now. They've went for this kind of different composition let's see how well it works they need to find lots of off angles however to get the value from it yeah but look at this already meta gaming finds the first two in this one dirty just trying to find anything with this ball able to slam there onto delhi but delhi with some help there from danny fan able to get them off that high ground dirty just still trying to find anything with the ball at the moment now you see a fight going on here that disrupting shot going to keep danny fan alive for a little bit but it's actually kgf able to take him out delhi though able to find kgf right back yeah it's 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 back and forth right now but kill perfecta gets it back into the way of method gaming delhi very far forward very low on health as well able to fall back k KGF here trying to get rid of Kill Perfector. They're able to do that now. They have their sights set on Delhi. Actually, it's Delhi who has their sights set on them. Dirty, though, able to find Sasset. That's a great pickoff for them. Only one support left. The Valk now being popped by GGD. Here comes the, the grabs on Flux from Delhi. Minefield's also coming out from Dirty as well. The kills continue to go the way of Valhalla here at the moment. G2D deciding to pull out the pistol there. Get some shots <laughs> and get some damage on that Mercy. You always love to see it. Yeah, I do like the pocket better on the Ash. It gets a lot more value at long range. Yeah, still doesn't quite do better than the Widow, but you can still find a lot of value. Not as much as Kilfecta is finding, however, even against that small hitbox of the Tracer. Oh, the Pulse Bomb gets cancelled out there by that Transcendence from Sasa, but that's Transcendence now kind of out to keep them alive for this fight coming up here. Spooky does have an angle here, but that shield from Delhi is going to be able to protect some of their team right there. Actually, most of their team, no one really poking out any heads, but now Spooky able to find some damage on there. They're going after Delhi there. Delhi, though, gets really low, gets healed back up. Here comes the Kasumi Rush in a very close... A close capacity area right there and now it's just an all-out brawl here on this high ground but dirty able to find legacy kgf able to find danny fan stuff starting to go valhalla's way here boulder gets dirty off the high ground but kgf able to find kill perfecta and are we seeing a little bit of a fallback here from method but dirty trying to keep this pressure up they're going after the two in this staircase right now they find sassan able to roll away to keep themselves alive yeah that could certainly rush kind of acted as a zoning Kitsuri Rush as they forced the side of Mepha Gaming to go to that outside area and basically get picked apart. Now the Bob comes in sectioning off that way onto point but actually finds Legacy. And this is a great or second point here for Valhalla. The overclock comes in from Danny Fan. They find one. They find two. Oh, They're looking for a third. They're trying to get it but instead they jump straight into a mine and they take themselves out and the second point will go over to Valhalla. Now GGD with that Valkyrie trying to go after Sasa here. I love it right now, but they need to get out because they are in a very dangerous position with Delhi now swapping over to the Diva. 
I love the aggression with the uh, uh, Valhalla support line here. Getting lots of work done, moving on to third point. Solbo controlling this high ground now. You see KG dueling for that contention up there, but forced out. Danny fan though, able to find Spooky here with a nice headshot, swapping over to the Hans now. A little bit of a better pick and a little bit of a more close, uh, close, or a little bit of a tighter space area right now but the sleep comes on the kgf and that will cost them their life a nice pick off there by legacy and now, <laughs> and now you just start to see them heal and find some pot shots down to the valhalla team right now but valhalla still pushing the card it is contested right now we might see a little bit of a stagger here or just kind of fall back and regroup into this fight under two and a half minutes now for them though yeah, it's still looking very good. They can keep this rolling. They have the pulse bomb. You see KGF looking for it. Nano primed and ready, however, on the side of Method Gaming. Oh, they've lost Sasa. No transcendence to keep them alive this time as they swapped over to the Br Brigitte there. KGF finding a nice pick off here to start. We're trying, we're starting to see Valhalla here try to get some numbers going their way. They also find Danny Fan out as well. They should be collapsing in on this right now. Delhi eating up a lot of damage here on that high ground. Now we see Dirty here going after Legacy and Sasa in the background. But three ultimates ready right now for Method Gaming. Almost four. Valhalla does have two ready to go. Almost four as ready to go as well for them. Bob could be huge. But here comes the Kastuni Rush from Fox Liga. It's going to be a much more of a zoning one like you saw last time. It's really keeping them away from the or out of the open right now. But we do see Kill Perfect to try to contest that card. They're only for a moment. The Nano coming out onto Delhi. They're diving on everyone trying to find one pick. But they're getting healed up right now by that Mercy of G2D. Bomb now coming out from Delhi. It's up in the air. Coming back down the earth. Won't find anyone there Delhi incredibly low or dirty incredibly low is gonna roll away regroup with their team and try to fall back but KGF a, flew a little bit too close to the Sun there and gets taken out by Sasa yeah and they're keeping this fight up bringing the mines out pulse bomb ready again from KGF could find something big kill perfecta goes down to the mines Pulse Bomb comes out, doesn't find anyone. That one kill though from the mines could be huge for them, but they want to try to finish this map right now. You see Dirty spinning to win on that card, knocking Deliway for a moment, gets him a little bit more space right now, but charge or slamming into that area with low health, able to stay alive right now as they fall back out to regroup with their team and get some health. But Kill Perfecta able to find KG, have a great pickoff for them. The Dynamite comes in, it hits a couple people there for Spooky. So close to another Bob, they're trying to get that without losing their life here. Less than 30 seconds left to go right now, but Danny Fan with a nice headshot, able to take about a Nano. Again, going to Delhi, who's going after G2D, and they're able to get them. Now they're going after the other support of Fox Liga. Legacy gets, gets that kill right there, but that'll pretty much end this team fight. And Valhalla here, gonna have to rush back to this card. Yeah, panic stations for Valhalla. We're now in single digit seconds and you see the ball rushing in, but they're completely alone. They have nothing really. They're coming up to a Bob. That's their biggest defensive ultimate right now. Bob comes in, but it's stuck on the stairs. Oh, it no. won't really get a lot of value out of it. That's an unfortunate placement, but they're still getting some shots in Harvard. Valhalla completely back right now. Dirty, incredibly low, so close to yet another minefield here at the moment. That could be huge, but Kill Perfect to find G2D. No mercy for Valhalla. KGF gone as well. So three before now, Spooky finds Danny Fan. Dirty trying to do whatever they can, so close to another minefield. Here comes the Kastuni rush from them, but no one able to touch there for Valhalla. And Valhalla is so close, yet so far away from full, fully completing Junkertown. These fights are just absolute slobber knocker brawls between these teams. They may not be playing brawl comps, but they are brawling it out. They are swinging for the fences right now, but Mepha Gaming able to hold in at the final hurdle there and not let Valhalla complete the map. That does create a very nice win condition for Method Gaming and give them basically a goal to get to. It's not just no complete the map, it's get it all the way. Just get it to that point where you force them and there's no more map. But Sun Tzu once said, you corner an enemy and they fight twice as hard. That's right, I actually quoted Sun Tzu, I didn't meme it this time. Uh, uh, so Valhalla, they feel the wall against their back, you know? It, it's time to come up big and um, they're doing a classic sneak here, pushing their diva nice and forward. Perhaps going for a diva close hold? 
this is very curious it's what the reaper would tell you this is a very curious position to be in it's kind of like a proto brawl kind of holding close to the spawn let's see how method gaming adapts to this the hold is here gonna have to all hinge on how well they can keep this diva up here at the moment they are doing a good job of keeping meta inside their spawn here at the moment but you don't want to find an unfortunate pick come out here early from uh, Valhalla here right now, but you do see Delhi finally get out as the team went out the off or the side exit right there Delhi eating up as much damage as they possibly can with that grass. They're able to give themselves some shields Valhalla looking to try to fall back a little bit, but spooky able to find Danny fan They're looking to find more off, off of that one kill spooky able to land those shots almost able to get I believe that was kill perfect But kill perfect able to kind of hook shot themselves away and stay alive here only for a moment at least yeah, Valhalla able to keep themselves alive. They've got that front end damage and taking that front line battle is exactly what they want to be doing here. And that's where you see them excelling at right now, but the points aren't to move. A little bit of a nap time nap time there for Dirty, but they get woken up pretty quickly as Methus here starts to push up right now. Kasuni Rush coming out from Fox Liga here. Dirty able to find Kill Perfecta. And now Metha in a little bit of an awkward position right here because it's basically like the map has been flipped for them with Valhalla being towards their own spawn and Metha being closer to the point. But now the rally coming out here from Sasa will keep them alive as well as provide some shields to their team. Huge purple nade coming out there from uh, Metha as it gets rid of the, the mech there for uh, dirty and dirty also out of this <laughs> fight uh, spooky out as well KGF able to find Danny fan however Valhalla gonna have to kind of regroup here in current year overwatch we just saw Sasa on Brigitte carry that fight keep the backline alive and then go offensive with that rally and find the eliminations with the whip shot now Valhalla they do have a recontest but it's gonna be tough pushing into this flux here from Delhi, as that will really split up the team and create lots of opportunity for the attacking side. But you're gonna see him come out high new, coming out from Spooky right now, trying to find anyone that grabs coming out here. He's just waiting for it to end. They're able to find Legacy. The Death Plasma comes out, no supports left for Valhalla in this oh. fight. Spooky finds a second one there. Now they're just looking to clean up this team fight. They pretty much already won it, but they want to try to stagger some people out. However, Danny Fan finds Fox Liga. Fox Liga way far extended, or at least because there's no way that Danny Fan should have been able to get them. Yeah, and that's a good opportunity at the end there. But yet that high noon was the perfect counter to Flux because you don't want to lift up a high noon in Cassidy because you'll probably get your team eliminated. That's something you really want to be careful of. Pretty much all ultimates here for Mepha Gaming. They've got the menu to choose from. Danny could open up with an overclock here, but it's the Flux first that comes out. But the bomb coming out only finds Legacy. Oh. That's a nice pick because the, the Flux there from Delhi doesn't find anyone. Spooky finds Danny Fan right back. Valhalla here looking to keep this fight alive on this point. They find Sasa as well. Now it's just up to now they all they have to do is find Delhi and kill Perfecta. Kill Perfecta in a little bit of a worse spot right now on the edge. Looking to just jump off it so they can regroup with their team. Spooky able to find Delhi. And yet another team fight won by Valhalla with not as many ultimates as Meta had going into it. And can you hear that? That is time ticking away. Every second now becomes even more valuable as we reach that 30 second mark. A fight or two left here for the attacking side of Method Gaming. They need to come up big with this Nano and go nice and aggressive. But with Fox Liga, with this Kitsune Rush opening up nice and early, it's gonna be tough. The rally and the nano comes out high. Here comes the overclock from Danny Fan trying to find anyone. They've been very good with this in the past. Not finding anyone yet. They're able to get rid of the mech. Then they get rid of Dirty. Now they're looking for more, but that's all they get. However, their teammates picking up the slack. Three members of Valhalla already out of this one. Make it four. And we're about to make it five there. But Fox League actually able to stay alive a little bit longer. However, first point will be capped. Two and a half minutes now left for Meta here to push this cart to the second point. Now, Overclock is a deadly ultimate. Stick a nano on that and you get deadly to extreme measures. And Danny struggled at the f at the front end of that to get the value, but found it at the end and just absolutely controlled that there. That was a nice combination of ults. You see them kind of holding up forward here, but this high noon is going to push them back. 
does push them back. Nothing coming from that high noon, but like you said, it was probably more just to try to force uh, Metha back here a little bit. Spooky just trying to get as much damage in onto anyone as they possibly can here. But Metha continues to kind of push this card up with a decent amount of speed here. Kill Perfecta able to find Fox Liga as everyone on Valhalla here kind of taking this high ground approach right now. But this allows Metha to kind of push this card a little bit more. Two ultimates about to be ready for Valhalla as we're going to see them have to contest this here because I don't think they want to give this point up for free. Yeah, they've let it get so far, and they do have this brawl potential with this Reaper, so it's curious why they've let it get this point. Oh! Kill Perfecta finds one, but here comes the bomb from Dirty. They're able to find one with the right back, but Dirty not able to get back in their mech. Sasa is able to take care of GTD. The bomb coming out from Delhi as well. Not necessarily needed there, in my opinion, as they cap the second point, and now 2 minutes 40 seconds left for them to essentially finish this map and end the series. Yeah, this is a good position. Mepha Gaming really just rolled through that second point. Not unlike Valhalla did. So both these teams very keen at that point. And like I said last time, it's all about this high ground control. And Delhi has actually dueled the other side off of it right now. And you see them kind of teeing for control. And, you know, this will be very important once Danny Fan gets overclock. Because this is such an important high ground to hold to create the space for that. Yeah, and right now you see Valhalla, they do have some ultimates to play with here. They're about to have four Metha, about to have three ready to go themselves. But I imagine we're going to see that Nano and the Overclock, or maybe just the Nano will go on to Delhi or Kill Perfecta, able to find Spooky. That's the go button for them. They have the numbers advantage. They're going to want to try to collapse in on Valhalla here, because as the further and further they push this card, the closer and closer they are to winning the series. Absolutely, Valhalla, they need to go on the offensive here, use some ults, and they do if this Kitsune Rush coming out. The Death Blossom also comes out from KGF, but KGF doesn't find anyone. It's actually Kill Perfecta finding them. Now the Rally coming out from Sasa here. Sasa has been showing that the Brigida can still be used right now. Two kills going the way of Meta Meta here. And now they're in the final stretch with over a minute left to go. Yeah, and this is going to be a big stagger pick onto G2D, which is not what you want in this final stretch. Can anyone touch here? It's going to be a bit of a tough one. You do have plenty of ults if you're Valhalla, but you're going to be late to this beat. It's going to be tough to stick into this one without that beat sustaining you initially. Oh, but here comes the overclock from Danny Fan, already finding one. Now the bomb comes out from Dirty. It has to be here. It's the high noon from Kill Perfecta. Try to find anyone who does find KGF, but we're seeing trades go back and forth here. G2D able to find Kill Perfecta right after that one. Right now, Valhalla just trying to stabilize on this po on this point right now. Not let Metha end this series here, and they have done it for the moment. However, Metha still does have the bomb. Metha used a lot of their ultimates in the last fight. Valhalla used all the ones they had ready to go. This bomb from Delhi could be huge. Yeah, Delhi's bomb is going to be a big indicator in this final fight. 20 seconds on the board. Any picks right now would be absolutely gruesome for either side. It's a fight for both sides. Let's see who can finish out Junkertown. Spooky swapping over to the Widow. The Delhi has to use the bomb to get back in mech here. So that that ultimate out of the equation right now. It's a dry fight here. Valhalla just needs to win one fight here to prolong the series and to get a good start there, getting Delhi out of their mech. However, Danny Fan on that high round gets forced down. They're sliding away to keep themselves alive here, but they don't stay alive much longer. It's dirty. Takes them out. Kill Perfecta also take it out. And Valhalla doing what they need to do here. Three, make it four kills now. They all they need to do is get rid of Legacy, and they do just that to end this map with a team kill and keep themselves alive in this series. All great journeys start with a single step, and boy, was this a big first step. Valhalla have begun the journey of the reverse sweep but it's a long one ahead of them. This is a good start and a good change of momentum. They really controlled it at the end there, and they do win it out on Junker Town. Their pick here, oh, this series continues to just give and give. Oh, it's so exciting, Dex. Yeah, I mean, what, what like going into ha that little break we had there, you know, we I was reminded that this series the last time these two teams went went five games i imagine they didn't or valhalla did not want to have it go to five games again off a reverse sweep that they had to try to do but that's the only way we get to game five here is them continuing this reverse sweep but now the road is tougher for them because every map from here on out they have to win and every map from here on out meta is going to be the one picking it yeah 
that, that that that's the struggle right map forgets to choose what maps we're going to and sure not big menu for the next game mode only three maps right push coming out uh, now so uh, it's Esperanza, New Queen Street, or it's Calesio. So, not a whole lot to choose from. So, maybe the choice doesn't really come into effect yet, which could allow Valhalla to equalize, right? And mm -hmm. we saw them deal with the ball quite well. Uh, they, they came in, they got lots of value with it. They didn't quite finish Shrunker Town, but they able to hold in against it. And I think the kind of the way of playing ball kind of gives an advantage here actually <laughs> on push because push is a very you know open sprawling map lots of flank opportunities ball can really flank around but another character you do see pop up a lot because of their ultimate is Ramatra <laughs> and despite the nerf you know still can really hold it down on point in these push maps yeah like I, I would I would not be surprised to see that here as we do know what our next map will be will be here we, we will be going to esperanza here now mm -hmm. i don't necessarily know if that's the best ramatra map i don't necessarily see a lot of ramatras play this map but that just might be because i have a very small uh just op or small opportunities to see people uh or just to play on this map and see what you know people are picking yeah, going for their neighboring um, Iberian Peninsula country here for Esperanza, <laughs> going to some Portuguese streets here. Um, still Iberia, so uh, you could still say it's a home field advantage for uh, Mefa. Maybe that's why they picked it. Um, <laughs> uh, but yes, uh, uh, Port, Port Roclo is coming back in for Delhi on the tank line yet again, mm -hmm. and that's where we saw Mefa really control with Reinhardt. So could that be a little hint that maybe they're going to go brawl here on East Branch? I would be interested to see that because I don't necessarily think I've really seen Ryan come out on any push map. Uh, even m myself, when I try to play Ryan on a push map, it always ends kind of badly <laughs> for me, but that might just be because I'm terrible at the game. <laughs> but, you know, Delhi came in for, for Prot Rockle in that last map right there, and, you know, Delhi didn't do bad. It was just, I like, I, I'm assuming both me and you are under the whole thing of, like, Valhalla had to play the perfect map right there to continue the series. Yes. Oh, yeah, absolutely, like... You cannot afford any major mistakes when you're on the journey of a reverse sweep. You really need to hold it in tight and play to your extent. And predictions kind of come true here for the side of Method Gaming. They are coming out on Ramatra. And now we're going to see these two different ideals clash. This this Ramatra poke and brawl versus this you know, very kind of divey, pokey ball composition with this pocketed sojourn on KG right now instead of Kill Perfectus. So let's see how these teams really play against each other. It's going to be lots of angles created for Valhalla. Yeah, and right now you already see, like, Method went straight to the point. Valhalla wants to try to play around the point a little bit right now. Uh, they are contesting the bot right now, but the only one contesting the bot for Metha is currently uh, Padraco on the Muramatra here. And now another slam comes in from Dirty, but a nice uh, Suzu coming out there from Sasa so that no damage really taken from that. But now Padraco a little bit away from their team here, getting a lot of damage to go their way. They're able to kind of negate someone with that ability while they're in that form, but now they start to get something going, and now technically do have the lead yeah once that nemesis form is used however it creates an opportunity for the side of valhalla to kind of utilize the fact that they cannot block any of that damage but kill perfecta has something to say about that yeah and that really does help meta here get going you know without that tracer really flanking around just trying to get a lot of poke damage in from behind you know Valhalla has to play this a lot smarter now. Danny Fan on this high ground immediately throws that disrupting shot into the perfect spot. Gets a lot of damage. Has that railgun fully charged. Trying to get rid of Dirty. They're dirty. Has to pop their shields, but eventually they get taken out themselves. And look at this. Patraco already has that ultimate ready to go. But KGF Whoa. finds Salsa there with a nice railgun headshot. And they do have their overclock ready to go if they want to pop that as well. Yeah, that's what that pocket allows you to get those one shot capabilities after a few body shots there but the overclock is going to come out with that pocket creating a lot of space yeah and right now that shield coming out from pot rocco really does help them out a lot and really nothing coming from that overclock other than just valhalla kind of resetting the bot right now no one from meta 
other than Sasa has fallen in this round. Uh, but now here comes the Kasuna Rush and the ultimate from Pot Rocco. And look at it. They are, you immediately see Valhalla try to run away. There goes one. The, the Suzu comes out on the Pot Rocco there. But they get the Suzu as well. Now they go into the Nemesis form. Fine. G2D with some help there from Danny Fan. Now they're just trying to punch anyone else that they can find. Yeah, utilizing those two ultimates, however, it's a, it's a heavy investment, especially when that continue rush basically acts as a speed amp because you, you know you're gonna constantly like be away from that kitsune rush so you might wish that you had that kitsune rush coming up and maybe invested uh, the overclock instead but you know still good ultimate here for mepha as they have gotten that checkpoint and that is a massive um massive blow here to valhalla because that forward spawn has now unlocked for the side of mepha yeah, and Dirty swapping off the ball, going to the D.Va instead. But Danny Fan finds one with that overclock, looking for a second one right now. Does spot a couple ones, but just going to rain some damage there on the Dirty. However, they get taken out by Dirty. It's not that able to find Spooky, so everything's still going Metha's way at the moment right now. As Valhalla here kind of falling back to regroup and get some health. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, kind of pummeling there, pushing back in with every fight loss here for Valhalla is another fight that they need to win in a row and the staggers don't help with that pulse bomb onto G2D this is a very very great start from Mepha Gaming here and they're very close to this Kutsuni Rush yet again coming up to this final corner here in Esperanza already with six minutes on the go Valhalla are, have never been up against the wall as much as they have right now the sim swap is a little bit interesting coming out here from Spooky, but I'm not against it here at the moment. Now, another uh, overclock coming out here from KGF. It needs to be huge. They need to find someone with it. They're not able to find anyone just yet. You see Spooky get very aggressive on that Symmetra there, but KGF able to find one after that overclock ends. You see a second one from Dirty there as they find Sasa, and now Valhalla is starting to get something to go their way just a little bit here. Dirty finds Patrocco out, and now they're trying to get rid of Legacy on the Lucio, and they will be able to. However, uh, Metha will have that little bit of a forward spawn here as Valhalla is desperately going to try to at least just reset that. Yeah, it's a good fight win, but it's one of many in a row you now need to win if you want to not only unlock the forward spawn, but even think about getting into the lead. Because this is the first that they've actually moved their podium, their, their plinth there. And again, they're already meeting the fight this early. Yeah, but we have two ultimates ready to go for Meta here. One coming out right now. Potrocco holding onto theirs. Now they pop it. They're looking for a lot. Already three members of Valhalla down. Make it four. Oh. They're looking for the final one there of a team kill. But I believe G2D will be able to wall ride his himself out of there. Yeah, that's your one saving grace. But again, now this forward spawn going to be unlocked again. And likely this final fight... Well, or at least it could be a final fight coming up here on this final corner. You really need to utilize this Kutsuni Rush from Fox Liga. But of course, every ult you use is an ult you don't have in the next fight, especially when you're down this path. And Danny Fan finds G2D out early. A stick coming out from Kill Perfect on the KGF. This is already looking great for Meta. Kill Perfect to find Spooky as well. Now they're going after the Orisa there of Dirty. Dirty gets taken out by Danny Fan who popped that overclock there. Now there's one person on the bot right now. It is Fox Liga. Fox Liga just trying to stall as long as they can there. Their whole team is going to have to come back out and re regroup for what could be the final fight. That was a brutal alt fight for both teams, but with Mepha Gaming winning it out, they're going to get the ball around that final corner, and that's a disaster for Valhalla. But Fox Liga able to find Danny Fan right back, kind of even stuff out right now. Sasso able to find Dirty, no tank left alive for Valhalla. Spooky out as well. Now he's got to get rid of the supports, and that's all they. That's all that's stopping them from winning this map. G2D out. Now, can anyone from Valhalla get back? They're trying to. They desperately are, but Meta blocking oh. them out the, at their doors as Meta will win Esperanza and win the series. That was an exclamation point of a final showing there. Meta gaming at the end there with a near flawless Esperanza game showing that they're just at a level above what they, we've seen from them before and they're ready to go through this playoffs and i mean if they keep playing like this dex this is a team that goes to the final this is a team that wins the whole darn thing
<laughs> yeah, and they looked really strong. Pot Rocko coming back in and playing that Ramatra, a, one, a, a character that you thought we could see there. And it just seemed like Valhalla really didn't have a response for that Ramatra. It seemed like they just couldn't figure out how to play around it, and they really struggled because of it. Yeah, absolutely. You know, once you get that Nemesis form, you can be very aggressive and soak up a lot of damage. But even more crucially, once you get Annihilation, you mm -hmm. know, it's it's gonzo. You're done. If you need to be contesting that point on the, the butt scratch, then you can't because then you're just extending the ult. You need to take out the Rematra. It's why it's such a painfully strong ultimate, even with it being nerfed then it doesn't last forever now it's still mm -hmm. very strong and lasts long enough to just devastate those big um objective based fights yeah so just looking at the maps right now i mean look at how close this series truly was like we could talk about how king's row was a little bit back and forth but meta really was the better team on that map but it's a was an overall incredibly close series i mean the the first map of lijong tower could have gone valhalla's way right now and we could have been looking at a completely different series yeah absolutely it is back and forth i mean don't take that last east Barancha map as an indicator of how the series went that was the most one-sided map for Meth of the rest of the series, like you see, very back and forth. That Junker Town was a slobber knocker of a map, and that's where Valhalla got their point there. And you know, for you know, two teams that went five to five, sorry, not five to five, five maps last time we saw them, you can see why. They're very competitive against each other. I think Mepha Gaming just had the edge today and just found what worked. Yeah, I have to fully agree with you there. They found some weaknesses in Valhalla's armor and just essentially just kept on exposing them throughout this entire series. And that's why they're moving on to that next round. Absolutely. Well, do not miss any of the rest of the streams for the CGL Season 11. EU GM scene is looking very sweet right now. Mepha Gaming advancing forward and they will be facing off against the opponents of um, Feud, right? It was Feud. Fuhr! I was so yeah. close. I was one letter off. Um, yeah, so they'll be facing Fuhr. Do not miss out on the future of this bracket because it's looking very, very good. I've been Geo joined by Dex. Thank you all for watching and don't forget to laugh loud and love yourself, folks. Good night. <laughs>